Dave, I have a little bit of a history with RC helicopters. Way back when, as a kid, I, I had one of the first caveman jet rangers in the country with an MRC F710 and a Super Tiger Bluehead 61. And, but now, as each year transgresses, it's been even more amazing as the technology gets packed into this. What is happening with RC helicopters and where does it all go? Well, that's, that's uh, a question that probably has a, a really long answer, so I'll try and give you the short side of it. Okay. And that's, uh, we don't know. The entire helicopter side, I think, has always been looking for the next big deal and to say where that stops, nobody knows. I can't even give an educated guess on it at this point because I'm just boggled by the amount of progress that we've made in such a short period of time. It scares me to think about what's going to happen in the next three years. And how you try to regulate or, for that matter, have as much fun with it as you possibly can. Yeah, that's the challenge as well. We have so many different facets of the Jamboree that we pay attention to scale. We pay attention to the contest flying. Last year we fostered in the X. FPB racing. So we try and grow the event around what is happening within the hobby. Every year is a new and different challenge that presents new ways to regulate it, new concerns for safety. So doing an event like this, that makes it extremely difficult to rein all that in because it's happening so fast. Now you have a national event, uh, the Jamboree. What happens there? What are people looking to get out of it? What's an RC helicopter pilot do out in the wild? <laughs> Well, when they show up to our jamboree, we provide them five or six days of solid entertainment. They come to meet the pilots that maybe they only meet online. They come to see the pros or the team pilots. They come to find out, yes, they can fly, and to come get knowledge. When you come to the jamboree, we have several days of seminars. and Learn from the best. Learn from the best, and it's in so many different categories. It's very specialized now to the multi-rotor guy, to the guy that's trying to learn how to set up his fly bar unit and so on. So that's been what has driven and changed the Jamboree and made it evolve into what it is today. Aero TV is brought to you by Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.